Check, check, check. <clears throat> Yo. Hello. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the very first episode of season two of Canvas Killer Critiques. I'm Canvas, and we are about to shake off some of this rust. Right? Um, <clears throat> Cool. So if you're new here, let me just uh, familiarize you with what it is that I do. <clears throat> so I am a portraitist and an agitprop artist from Flint, Michigan. And what it is that I love to do, you know, especially with these critiques is to introduce uh, myself and then subsequently you are with new artists um, or artists that I've known and I feel um, I feel that, excuse me, these artists contribute something really distinct, uh, something really amazing, something really beautiful to the field of fine art. Um, uh, to, to this point, I've focused on digital artists, um, uh, painting artists. Um, though, you know, I, I would really love to branch into things like photography, um, barbers, you know I me, mean? see a lot of really dope, um, haircutting art, um, tattoo artist even, you know, uh, though for right now, because I have a pretty tenured career in painting, uh, that's, that's going to be the focus. So... The artist that we're going to talk about today, one of my dear friends, her name is Jaleesa Yancey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a bit of a profile of hers. Um, you know, there's no better way to get the uh, perception of an, an artist you're just being introduced to than from that artist. So. Uh, if you go to jrydesigns.net, um, you will find this information. And so, uh, Jaleesa Yancey from Memphis, Tennessee, currently based in New York, multidisciplinary artist, uh, is passionate about developing aesthetically pleasing art that explores themes such as life, African diaspora, and nature. All right. Um, so word definitely with the piece that is behind this video that I'm about to minimize really soon, you will find, I will certainly, uh, even in just the title, right. Um, and life as well. Uh, you, you'll find nature, um, or, you know, hints to nature and hints to life. And certainly with these very vibrant colors that you can already see, um, you know, that definitely uh, puts me in the realm of the African diaspora. Very uh, vibrant, very bright, bold colors. And so the title of this piece is Don't Help the Butterfly Out of Its Cocoon, For This is the Struggle That Creates Growth. That's the title, right? <laughs> that is the title. Uh, this piece is from 2020. So let me minimize this. And share my thoughts. Boom. Word, word. I'd say real talk, one of the, the first things that I enjoy about this piece is the amount of chaos in um in in variation. Um, in, in the variation that's used rather, where there are so many, for instance, so many different shades of blue that are in this piece that are, I put it very close together and then are isolated by line, you know, by these black lines that are going around these different shapes, a lot of, um, kind of rounded square shapes in there, um, and yeah, like to have this amount of variation of one monochromatic color alongside other uh, shots of vibrant, you know, oranges or hot oranges and reds. And uh, there's even 
a bit of uh, texture that I'm seeing in this bottom area of red. It looks uh, almost what I would assume to be like a fishnet over top of that part of the canvas. And that, you know, further adds to the variation that you're seeing. It's a lot of variation in texture, a lot of variation in color. And the, uh, not the only, but one of the main systems of control that I'm noticing uh, throughout all of the variations is the line work. So, you know, either these dark black lines that are creating these different shape that holds to, uh, these different colors or these symbols that we're seeing in uh, this pound sign that's here. The dots, uh, this, you know, different repetition of, of shape um, in small lines in order to, uh, at least for myself, suggest a bit more uh, control, right? And... Hmm. Yeah, I enjoy that because I'm seeing all these variations and, and then to bring the title back into play, uh, which I'll read again. So the title is Don't Help the Butterfly Out of Its Cocoon, For This is the Struggle That Creates Growth. Right. And so visually, as I'm looking at this piece, there is... There's a, a tension, if you will, that's suggested by these two elements being juxtaposed, uh, one of them being the many variations of these different colors, of these different shapes, and that being, that being something that is, um, that's juxtaposed with almost like the finite parameters of a canvas and having a piece that is uh, disrupting a, a certain stillness and it's forcing you to look around it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking around this piece wanting to find parts that are similar and um, also recognize which parts are distinct from others. You know, there isn't necessarily a string, uh, which is what this looks like on the, the bottom left, the parts that are overlapping uh, this very bright, um, I'd say like a, a orange yellow that's in the bottom left. And... I do enjoy that element in that it continues the trend of black lines, though it's used in a medium outside of painted lines or drawn lines, um, if she's using a marker here. And yeah, it's um it creates a tension that is suggesting this struggle. This struggle, um, as you're looking at it visually. In, in that there are so many different variations of, of color and, and line and movement that I couldn't imagine that I'm supposed to be looking at something that is stagnant in, in nature or in the world. And so, you know, that also begins to further fuel this idea that I'm witnessing a butterfly um, coming out of this cocoon, right? Which is a very, uh, it's a tense moment, right? And watching um, an, an animal that you know is, is destined to stretch beyond the, the, the small space in this uh, instance being a cocoon that hosted, right? Until, you know, it's um, destined to spread its wings and fly. And so there's, 
a great amount of tension um, and watching it hatch, essentially, you know, just with the constricting nature of what has held it throughout its time of being able to incubate and grow and go through uh, metamorphosis. Um, and so, yeah, like I, I definitely enjoy that the representation of either, you know, visually witnessing a butterfly come out of this cocoon is it's represented here by suggesting certain elements that are also present with it actually happening and um you know one way that i i, I see that represented um as I'll, I'll go back to the color you know butterflies you know typically uh even if they're not completely covered in a vibrant color then they have you know, splashes or certain shapes of very vibrant color and pattern, which um, in a different scale is shown all across uh, this piece, you know, which is very enjoyable. Um, yeah, I, uh, I definitely enjoy the balance that's created between the warm and the cool colors. Um, there's, you know, certainly a, a even distribution of both of them. You know, mainly these uh, blues from this uh, royal or cobalt blue, if you will, to this more of like a baby ice blue. They really uh, and these greens like the lime greens that uh, this piece in, in certain shapes, um, even being stretched here where this looks almost like a uh, like a fuzzy cotton ball if you will uh doing that same green shape excuse me green hue yeah this is uh this is a beautiful piece yo because it you know it, it has so many um, i'll use the word again one of the um one of the principles of art uh variation it has a lot of variation in color it has a lot of variation in shape and in texture and so, you know, it, it provides a lot of opportunities for your eyes to move around the canvas um, with the title in mind and uh, begin to see some things uh, that are suggested that can really unfold uh, the title. Uh, so beautiful piece, beautiful piece. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll include all of the information for Jaleesa, including her Instagram which has a direct link to her website uh certainly check out her work um you know as i, I said earlier she loves to create things uh, regarding life the african diaspora and nature you know if that is an aesthetic that you would love to see more of and or that you want in your home uh certainly stay abreast with this artist and <laughs> I'm speaking mad proper. I can tell this the first episode. Cool. So shout out to Jaleesa. Um, thank you for your contributions to uh, the art world. And yeah, yo, this has been the first episode of the second season, Canvas Killer Critiques. I've had an amazing time talking with you all and I will see you next week.